guys, I'm Leonie and this is Michelle and this is the first episode of Speaking of Art, uh, a show where we're going to talk about our lives as freelance artists and everything that entails. So, speaking of art and speaking of the artist's life, so this is the first episode, maybe you could tell us a little bit about yourself. Yes, so hi, I'm Michelle. Uh, my artist name is Jemmy Art. I'm still like always in between with that. Like it's kind of difficult because I'm Michelle Michelle Gemmeke and I'm also uh, Jemmy Art, so it's kind of confusing, I'm sorry for that. Um, but I generally go by Jemmy Art. Uh, I'm a Dutch girl, as you are. And I have studied communication and multimedia design, which taught me to code and to do visual design, to do interaction design, any kind of design really that is digital. And but I've always been drawing my whole life, and I always wondered if I could do that full time and sell my art and make illustrations. So I decided to quit my job six months ago and dive in and see where it will take me. So this is where I am now. Exciting. Yeah, so what about you? Who are you? Well, I'm Leonie. Uh, online I go by my own name or by Quinta, which is a long story which we won't get into now. <laughs> um, I uh, actually started my journey a really long time ago because I've done I started as a graphic design student, then I went into uh, interaction design. Uh, at the time I was building a lot of websites, using uh, all kinds of tools and uh, drawing a lot, but I figured drawing isn't something that you can make money with. Mm -hmm. And everyone sort of advised me to do what is smart rather than what I want to do. So I kept drawing as a hobby and I finished uh, school as an interaction design student. After that, I did communication and multimedia design, same stu uh, study. Yep. And uh, after that, I started working as a designer for about three years. Uh, about two years ago, I got very sick uh, because I got a burnout and I was home a lot. And because I was home a lot, I had a lot of time on my hands and friends gave me a lot of art supplies. And this is funny because I hadn't really been drawing very actively for many years. Uh, past I sort of like shoved it aside as something that I wasn't really doing anymore I just doodled every once in a while yeah. uh, so they gave me like these buttload of art supplies and I just decided to try it out and I fell back in love and about a year ago I started an Instagram for my art and a year ago yeah yeah it's been almost, almost a year oh that is so little time yeah, <laughs> I started I know. about like four or five years ago I think yeah, I started my Instagram a year ago. Oh, cool! Before that, I was always on Deviant Art. You know. Yeah, that? yeah, but I've never been on there. But Deviant Art, is that right? Yeah, I, I, I also was in Deviant Art. But yeah, it's Dutch, I think. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, yeah, I know Lois yeah. is a big fan. I think she's one of the biggest Dutch I actually, illustrators. When I Lois started on uh, Deviant Art, I was also on Deviant Art. Like I've seen her journey from start. That's finish. so exciting. Yeah, it's really it's really funny because I always used to follow her and then after I stopped doing a lot of art and I stopped being on divine art and everything, I I totally lost yeah, touch with that and with the yeah. whole artist life. And then about a year ago I started with that again and I started following people and now I follow Lois again and, and lots of other people. I have uh, some of her uh, merchandise and everything. It's so funny yeah. that I just sort of like fell back into step into that thing that I always wanted or that I always loved but I didn't know that I could do it this way exactly yeah yeah I think like if I may ask how old are you I'm 32 years old yeah and I I'm 25 I think that's that's just like we absolutely don't have a generation gap Let, let's let's <laughs> be clear about that but I do think that there's a difference just this tiny gap where I started Instagram quite soon because I didn't have divine art. Yeah. Um, because I kind of skipped that that whole scene because I looked at that for a little bit of inspiration, but it wasn't as user friendly and it doesn't really look. It hasn't. Pretty. Generally, it hasn't been updated 
since the beginning of the 2000s. Yes, and I'm like, why not? Because I don't know. Yeah, I, I guess I feel they don't have to. If they change too much, maybe their user base. That's always the, that's so difficult. Like you hear this from big brands as well. Like again, from a designer perspective, but like uh, an eBay or an Amazon, they say we cannot change because our users will bend the nuts. Uh, yeah. They like the style that they have, they like that we can find everything where it is, and that yeah. makes total sense, but I think with art it's so difficult because it has to be about that, and it has this greenish, darkish background, and it's yeah. just taking away attention from what should have the attention. I, so. I went back to my uh, account uh, a while ago to upload some of my newer art, and it just it hasn't changed very much at all. And mm -hmm. In a way, that's kind of funny because it feels like going back to my roots. Yeah. But in another way, I can't believe that it hasn't changed at all <laughs> yeah. in all this time. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, the big difference is, is that I started with art and then abandoned it for a really long time, and then I came back to it now with all these new. Welcome back. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I have the same though. I, I, I drew a lot when I was in primary school and high school and then I started to study and then I didn't really do it anymore because I had to make some sketches for my school projects and then I wasn't really into seriously sitting down and making something pretty. Mm -hmm. And then every summer I would have a different project on my hands and then the latest summer I was like, why don't I start my own art project? And also something I want to do with friends. So I started uh, illustrating quotes that they gave me, like five quotes, like uh, if the world didn't suck, we would all fall off. Because of gravity. So um, that made me communicate with other people and connect with other people, and then still draw, even though that sometimes can be a bit lonely. Yeah. Um, and that got me back into it because I was actually really surprised that I didn't do this seriously for years, and then I picked it up again, and I was actually kind of good. So, <laughs> I mean, it sounds really stupid and I don't want to be like, yeah, it's so good. Because that's, no. Um, but it's it's in you and I just had to pick it up and you just get so much inspiration from all around you. Like, drawing starts with looking at things. That is absolutely lesson number one. Yes. They always ask me, like, can you teach me how to draw? And I'm like, Okay, well, look at this thing. How does it look? And then I can I cannot articulate more than that because it's such I don't know. It's it comes so naturally to me um, that it's really hard to explain. But it's so okay. Yeah, look at the shading, and you're looking all your life, and you're looking at plants and at animals and how, how things move. And I, I guess I took on some experience throughout the years with that and also yeah. a lot more online because uh, of my study so yeah I think that helped a little bit. <laughs> it's really funny because my mom always says that my mom also uh, paints a lot. Mm -hmm. My mom has, uh, has been drawing and painting and being creative for many years just uh, for fun as a hobby. Uh, she does do uh, uh, showings of her work uh, oh. where I come from in the town. Um, they have a yearly sort of like art gallery show and has she also abandoned it? For the love? Ah, for the love, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for the Dutch viewers out there, you know what we're talking about. Yeah, for the non-Dutch viewers, it's like this very small town and it's super touristy and everyone in the country knows it. Yeah. So I always get a lot of questions about it when I tell people that I'm from there and people always start laughing at me and making jokes. Yeah, but, but all famous <laughs> all famous Dutch folk singers come from there, so yeah, it's, it's true. It's a brewery of talent as well, so... I guess. Should give it some credit. Oh, well. <laughs> but yeah, my mom would always say like, you have to, step one is looking, you have to look at things. And I was like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but it's so true. It is true. Yeah. And I noticed it now because in the past year I've been treating art more seriously. In the past when I was drawing, I was just drawing. I was like churning out drawing after drawing. I was um, into um, role playing games, as in uh, email based role playing games. You write stories and then I made art for it. <laughs> I was a huge nerd, 
so yeah. for your context. Um, so I, I used to just draw everyone's characters and I kept doing that and stuff and I was that's part so, of this group. I never thought about that. That's so it was cool. amazing. It was yeah. such a great, great thing to be a part of. Yeah. And then at a certain point I decided all of that was, it, it took too much time. I just started school. I had a boyfriend who was always talking to me and oh, you're going to make another drawing. And I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh uh, okay, fine. I'm not, no, I'm not going to draw. Want to have drink beer? So oh. then we did that instead. So I stepped out of that community and in the years after I would draw little things but I wouldn't be serious about it. Mm -hmm. um, we have this yearly tradition in my family that we make poems or drawings for each other. And that's so cool. like my dad makes these huge long stories yeah. that are winding and, and, and hard to follow <laughs> and I make drawings. Yeah. And um, uh, so we do that and that was the only thing that I would do all year. Or make, maybe make a sketch on a notepad or whatever, but that's it. And then I started seriously looking at art and, and looking at all these tips that people were giving me and giving each other. And then I was, I remember very clearly, I was in uh, Crete in Greece. And I just, two weeks before that, I heard someone talk about uh, how you can approach backgrounds in your artwork. And one of the things is that everything that is there's always three layers. There's something that's closest by, something in the middle, and something that's farther. Mm -hmm. And the thing that's closest is more saturated and more detailed. The farther it gets, the less saturated it gets, and the less detailed it gets. So it gets more, more fuzzy, more blurry. And we were driving through the mountains, and I was like, holy shit, I see it. I see this thing happening. I see the mountain moving beyond the other mountain, and I see the bush in front, and how yeah. clear that is. And I was like, I'm always right all along. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, 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 to me, it came so counterintuitive that indeed, like everything as far further away is less saturated and usually lighter. Yeah. Whereas, I don't know. It feels like it should be shading or something. Yeah, like, it, it should, should be deeper. Darker. Yeah, because it's farther away. But, yeah, the yeah. fuzzy thing makes no sense to me. But the the light, I I had yeah, I had to really look at that yeah. to understand. I was like, the teacher handcrafting. Uh, we had to make the, uh, um, a scenery. We a diorama, to... yeah. Yeah, exactly. And then he told us to make sure that we would color it the right colors. Yeah. And uh, I was like, ah, that's so weird. And then I started looking it up and I was like, oh yeah, fuck you, right? <laughs> <laughs> he's, still, he's actually making sense. How yes. do <laughs> um, So we've been talking for a while already. You're getting an idea of who we are. I, I want to upfront apologize to everybody that I actually saw a post of somebody I should have saved it I, I will find it um, which kind of said like how I tell a story and it starts a story in the end and then uh, how my friend tells the story and then there's like oh yeah we start the story and then there's a side story and oh what was I talking about again oh and another side story oh no go back to the and uh, oh quickly round it up and that's the end <laughs> and apologize again <laughs> so um, you will probably have some side tracks but we hope you will we'll, enjoy it we'll probably get more succinct as the the episodes go by and we have a more detailed idea of what we want to do but for now I hope so. uh, this is us and we hope you like it um, do you want to go through the other questions or do you want to go through our, to our feature area? Let's do one more question. Alright, um, so I guess the next question would definitely be what do you like most about making art? Ooh, yeah. Um, I don't, I don't, it's, it's hard to explain. Um, I don't know if it's, I was thinking about this and then I thought it's not really even a choice for me. Um, it's like I have this weird thing with eating chips, <laughs> like uh, potato chips. <laughs> like if I get a craving for chips, it won't go away until I have them. So yeah. it can last for weeks, but I have to have them and then it's done, it's fine. And I have the same, I hope that more people can relate to this. <laughs> <laughs> so I have the same with drawing. Um, if I don't do it for for about three months or so, I get a bit crumpy, a bit unsettled, and I don't really know where it's coming from. And then at one point I will realize, oh, I actually haven't taken the time to work on something, to create something that I find visually attractive. 
it's also kind of a, a therapy thing where you just sit down and you don't do anything but just drawing that yeah. and it's dot for dot or line for line and you just have to think about that you don't have to think about anything else I definitely agree with that that moment where you're just in the zone and the whole world falls away and it's just that thing in front of you whatever it is that you're working on that's that's the best feeling yeah yeah that and I don't know if you remember this but when I was younger we had this commercial on TV for actually for the school that I ended up going to for a graphic design school and the whole commercial was just people pointing at things and going like I made that I made that <laughs> you remember that <laughs> I, I, I don't shame. know if <laughs> I was already looking at those things then. But no, no, I don't. But, but I can imagine how so that, we're that feeling. So that feeling that you've, that you've finished something, you've created something, and the worst thing is that I have this mostly when I create something and I don't have a specific image in mind or like not, I don't know exactly what it's going to be like, I just know to sort of know what it's going to be. And then all of a sudden, it's a thing, and I yeah. made that. Yeah. And that's so amazing. Yeah. And seeing that sort of like come to life in front of you just because you did, you changed one stroke or you did one thing different and all of a sudden that, that makes the whole piece different. Yeah, I know. And those feelings, that's, that's why I do it. But that makes it also very difficult, I think, because I sometimes have that I'm working on a piece and then I'm working on it and I'm like, oh, this is ugly, what am I doing? This is terrible, I should stop, I'm spending my time on this. And then, no, you're working towards something. And then when you're starting to add other colors or it's slowly becoming a, th a thing, a piece, then I'm suddenly, oh, oh, okay, so I had to go through this ugly part. There's always actually... an ugly phase. Yeah, Every drawing has an ugly phase. Yes. It's like, it needs to be the ugly duckling before it could be yeah. the swan. But it's whatever. it's hard because it makes you want to stop at that moment. Like, ah, yeah. oh, no, this is not working. I had with this one. Yeah? Yeah. When I, just before I finished it, before I added the white, and I'm going to add a little, few little details. Yeah. Uh, there's a drawing setting over there. You can see it. Um, you can grab it. So, this is, I don't know if you guys can see this at all, but this is a commission that I've been working on. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> right before I added the little white dots and, and the little details, I had this pretty clear picture in my head of what it was supposed to be like, mm -hmm. because it's a dog I know. Um, so I was like, no, it's not good enough. And at first I was like, no, the color has to be rustier, it has to be rustier. Mm. No, but the folds are like, ah. Oh. And then I finished it and I was like, Okay, it's finished. At a certain point, you're overworking. You have to stop. Yeah, and yeah, I the away. Also, also very important. At a certain point, you just like oftentimes people ask you, "Is it yeah. done?" And then you're like, "Don't, don't even ask me. It's never done." It's but never done. I decided not to work on it anymore. That's yeah, all, exactly. That's, all the kind that's of it. <laughs> it's not finished, but I don't want to work on it anymore. Yes, <laughs> it's good. It's good enough. I'm sick of it. No, yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> But, uh, and then you add the little, last little bits, and in this case, I added the bits, I sent a picture to the client, and I went for a walk, and I came back, and I was like, oh, but it's actually really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Stepping away can also be good, just to yeah. get a little bit different perspective in it, on it. Yeah. If you're so in it and working on it, then it's hard to see the bigger picture. Yeah. So walking I have that a lot. Shower, I have some tips about that for the viewers in the future. Oh, I have some tips about that. Oh, that cool. So we'll talk about that later. <laughs> uh, yeah, and and the thing that ooh, I made that I I have that too, and I also like it when I get a little bit of uh, appreciation for the things that I did. Yeah. When people say, "Oh, that's really pretty," but that's only a small part. So I I kind of do need it, but it's like I would be working on something and then it is ready to get to that goal and then I'm like to my boyfriend like, look it's done and then he goes <laughs> there too he's like oh that's pretty honey well done and then I'm like yay and I put it away and I start with a new project <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't it's like then it's okay then it's yeah. that's enough and I want to put it on the wall and if somebody says like oh that's pretty or that's cool then I get this warm fuzzy feeling yeah. it's nice but I I don't go seek it out as in it's it's still 
bit difficult to say like, hey, here, this is the stuff that I made. Or, yeah, oh, I found that hard too. Or oh, we should on Instagram. We should make a, an episode about uh, the PR you do for yourself. It's Definitely. so important. And it's so hard. Yes. Yeah. We should, we'll talk about that for yeah. sure. And, and a lot of artists say like, I'm an introvert and therefore it makes it so hard. I, I think I have both sides. Uh, and like you're also like yeah. easy to talk to. I'm but generally that, quite extroverted. Yeah, but that's it. Still doesn't make it that easy. No, or because it's something that's so personal, and you you worked on it a lot. I have I don't have the same feeling that I have with design because I can with design I can more easily explain how and why this is a good decision. Yeah, art is more personal. It's more about what you feel, what your personal style is, and that kind of stuff. And it's hard to explain that to another person. Yeah. So when you when you show something like that to people you maybe don't know very well, it is a little bit like bearing your soul. Yeah. Just a little bit. And also, it's I don't want to put pressure on the person that I'm showing it to. Like, yeah. if, if you like it, that's great. If you don't yeah. like it, that's also fine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, I mean... You need to go without the attention from others, but that's hard to do sometimes. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's difficult. Let's talk about that another episode. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, I guess you know a little bit about us now. Uh, there is so much to tell. But it's, so, it's also kind of nice to get to know more of your background, actually, because, I mean, we're friends. Um, but you, you, and we talk about this thing more often, but you get different things out now and it's yeah it's cool it's nice so a lot of things that you're telling to the audience is also to you <laughs> it's also new for me so it's yeah. actually kind of nice well it's the same yeah it's the same for me yeah all right um <laughs> so now that we're all getting to know each other a little bit better oh um, yeah send a comment if you're an artist uh i'm curious about what you do share your instagram Tell us why you are an artist or what do you like best about making your work. Yeah. I'm curious. Yeah. Yeah, leave a comment. Yeah. Um, uh, speaking of comments, um, in the next episodes we'll be uh, showcasing some comments from people. Uh, so if you do leave a comment with a question or just something you want to share, uh, then we'll share that in the episode that we upload next. So. Yeah, a little, little Q&A. We aim for answering three questions, but you can already notice how we kind of get into deep sometimes. So we're going <laughs> to try to keep it short and answer your questions. Just leave them below and then next episode we'll follow up on yeah. that. And then we come to our last segment of the show, which is featuring an artist that we really love. Yes. And the first artist that we're going to be featuring, uh, her name is Bao Fang. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, and I actually um, bought a print from her uh, in December and it's a custom print and it's the most gorgeous thing I have ever gotten for myself um, and I hope you can see this very well I don't know if you can yeah we will also share the information but we'll below share the information can. below yeah um, she makes the most gorgeous dreamy uh, mesmerizing mysterious uh, girls, uh, they usually have a bit of an Asian feel to them and these cute little button noses, their eyes closed and she does this surreal stuff in her surroundings and with her hair and I'm completely in love with it uh, and I hope you love it too. But, so. I, but, I, but I, like you showed me her artwork so this is how I got to know her and what, I, yeah, I, I don't know how I'm gonna show you but, um, oh as well. Um, so what I especially like is that she creates this 3D kind of sense where where her face is in the front and then her hair is it's it's almost like it's um, paper cut out yeah. and it's a 3D work and it has natural shading into it whereas this this gray area the dark area is like a centimeter behind the artwork yeah. and I yeah it's it makes you just stare at it for at least a minute. Yeah, I think it's beautifully done. Yes, I, I love the way how she does the lips, how they're so luscious. And, yeah. and, and you can always tell that they just put on lip gloss. <laughs> yeah. 
It's amazing. And yeah. what I also love is, you, I'm not sure if you can see that, uh, but the original for this piece, she used uh, um, sparkles in the background and gold ink for uh, several of the details. And though you can't see that sparkle or that shine in a print, uh, you can still see the effect in the scan and in the artwork uh, that I bought. And I think that's, uh, that's really amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's really nice, and also the, the finishing of the paper. Yeah, it's it's printed on this beautiful linen oh. paper, and it's amazing. And it's signed yes. at the back. See, I don't know if you can see this. Sure. <laughs> it's way too close for all of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, We're so yeah, it a lot. Um, if you have artists that you think we would absolutely love, then also share that in the comments. Yes, please. Uh, and I think that brings us to the end of this episode. I think so too. Uh, what are we going to talk about next episode? Do we know? Um, we could talk more about ourselves, or we could start talking about uh, starting out as a freelancer, since we both started out as a freelancer yeah. last year. Um, and we do maybe... have to remind you, like, we are also just starting out, so we're not experts on this, um, but we do talk with a lot of other people that do this, yeah. we also watch some other Podcast. Uh, oh, and I'm curious if you're interesting. Uh, interesting. If you're interesting. <laughs> if you're interesting. If you're boring, just go away. No, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. You're welcome. But <laughs> if you're interested in tips like that, like um, we are oftentimes looking for podcasts to follow yeah. or other people that talk about art. Um, I I usually listen to that stuff or watch that stuff while I'm drawing. Um, so if you are interested in those tips or something, we could share some of that as well. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so maybe you could also let us know if uh, you'd be interested in learning a little bit more about us and uh, what kind of artwork we do. Um, or if you would be more interested in what kind of mistakes maybe we made when we just started out. <laughs> um, or other things that we have learned that we can share with you so you don't have to learn them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's always so hard because I'm like, reading books about design things or how to communicate certain stuff and then and you still do it and, and then it's <laughs> like oh yeah this makes so much sense i'm so gonna use this and then like the next time that a client approaches you is like no i'm gonna just fall right into the trap and do it completely <laughs> the opposite that i know is good but i don't know why but i should just like, do it like this and then mistakes happen it's part of starting yeah everyone <laughs> makes mistakes that's okay yeah <laughs> Even when you're doing this for a long time, I think, I think it will so. always happen. And it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's, you learn. Yeah, that's true. All right. Um, so I guess this is us signing off. Yeah. Thank you for watching. We hope you didn't take too much of your time. <laughs> and we'll try to make it a little bit briefer next time. And we might, like, we also, yeah, we might cut things up yeah. in pieces. Yeah, if it seems like we've cut out a lot, you missed so many great conversations. You're going to do it, do it, No, it should be fine. <laughs> we'll just do it like a, a, a time lapse through. <laughs> yeah, <conversation>. exactly. <laughs> and then it's high pitched voices. <laughs> so go it, like, yeah. It's going to be great. It's going to be an awesome video. Exactly. Uh, it's going to be so, so professional. <laughs> in any case, Thank you for sticking with us and uh, we hope you will subscribe to our channel Oh yes, uh, please. and like the video and we will see you here next time. Bye! See ya!